Okay, well, welcome to 2024. This is the first ever of my video journals. Um, the point of all this, I guess, maybe I should start off and explain what the point of all this is. The point of this isn't for me to make videos for anyone else. The point of this is for me to make videos for me. I really, I've been enjoying podcasting and I want to do more video podcasting. And I'd like to get more into making sort of vlogs and, and that sort of thing. But I don't care about the YouTube algorithm. I don't care if anybody, in fact, I'd probably prefer it if no one ever even saw any of these. Um, frankly, this is just for me to practice. It's for me to learn how to use the camera. It's for me to learn how to use the Premiere Pro and the video editing tools that I have. It's for me to learn how to set up lights and how to do better backgrounds and how to mess around with the sound and to make sure that the sound sounds great. And it's also for me to get better at becoming comfortable in front of the camera. So that's all. Th this whole project is for me personally to improve my skills and to make myself more comfortable in front of the camera and to learn a lot more about what I want to do and the direction I want to go. That being said, I also think that for me to get any better, if, if I never plan on showing this to anyone, then it doesn't work. Because if I just go, well, no one's ever going to see it, so it doesn't matter, so I can just do whatever the hell I want to do and I don't have to, I don't have to be better and I don't really have that sort of external pressure then I don't think it works. I think I could just sit and record for hours and hours and hours into the camera, but if no one's ever going to see it, then what's the point? So I will post all of these as my sort of daily journal entries on YouTube because that's another thing that I want to get better at learning how to use and use correctly. Um, but again, I probably... I don't know if I'll... I, sh I should just put them out. Um, but and see what happens and sort of if people look at it and they they come across it by mistake somehow or someone in the family looks at it and wants to watch them fine um if not i literally could not care if one person ever saw the video so that's the plan it's january 1st i want to record at least a short video every single day um i don't know i don't have a target for how long i want these to be I suspect that some days will be longer than others. You know, we're two and a half, three minutes in already on this one. Um, and if, you know, it's just like a journal. If something really interesting happened, then I'll have something to say. If nothing's happened, it might be really short. Or I might be out. Or I might be traveling. Or I might be in an event. Or whatever. But I'm going to try and do a lot more content, whether it's mobile phones. This is just on a Sony um, um, ZVE 10 that I picked up used, um, with, uh, you know, with a, with, with a 16 millimeter lens. So, you know, that's quite nice. I think it looks good and that's great for a home studio, but sometimes I'm going to be at the office and I'm going to be using the 4k webcam. I have a, uh, a, a Byro, I think it's called or something, uh, Logitech. Um, Sometimes I'm going to be out, I'm going to be at shows, I'm going to be at parties, I'm going to be at events, all sorts of stuff. So I guess the the thing is to get more comfortable with using all the technology. I've got a, oh, I think it's, I've taken it downstairs already, but I've got a, a tripod that I can use with a mobile phone camera. So I'm going to set up the tripod over here. So then I have a two camera set up. So at least I can start to try and make the videos a little bit more interesting um, and again, that's, that's one of the points. One of them is to stop saying, um, all the time and, and to work out my ticks in my language. So it's going to be good to practice that. I might sometimes try and practice reading or having a script to get a little better at my ability to work to a script. Hopefully at some point in a few months, I'll have a teleprompter, which will make it a lot easier for me to talk to the camera particularly when I'm doing interviews on my podcast and, and any of the podcasts that I'm on. Because what I have at the minute is, you can't see it, but I have a, a MacBook just here. Whoops. Just here. And um, 
And when I talk to people on the podcast, I can't see them in the camera. So what I end up doing is I end up looking down the whole time and then I get really distracted. And then because I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at this, the, the camera on my laptop and then I forget. And it's been a nightmare so far. I want to get better at that. So anyway, this year is all about discovery. It's about getting better about working with, with video and audio as well. Trying a few different tools, trying to make my videos look better. I don't need to make feature films. I don't need to do any of that. I would like to do some interviews and some podcasting in person. And so I will need to up my skills to be able to do that and to figure out how to do that effectively. So who knows, maybe sometime I might have my wife in or I might have my son in to come in and do it with me or... I might try and record some videos somewhere else or maybe even do some interviews maybe with her parents or something like that in sort of a, a documentary interview style, which could be interesting to do. Um, so that's about doing the video, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I just want to get in the habit of recording video every day. And I think just through repetition, I will get more comfortable. I'll get better at doing the editing. I'll get better at maybe dropping in B-roll, for example. I, I really want to start to try and think about how to use B-roll effectively in, in videos and, and how I do that. And, you know, maybe if I tell some stories and stuff about when I was younger and where I grew up, I mean, that was, you know, I've thought about doing that. I've thought about writing a book, actually. And one way that I might be able to get started with that quicker is to just record stories and then have those transcribed and then we can take those stories and we can do something with them later maybe and then try and pull it into a book or something i have no idea but um if i do that then i have some i have a good opportunity sorry i don't know why i've got this in my hand i have a good opportunity to um to put some b-roll in like if i talk about when i was young i went to this place down in mississippi called sardis lake and we used to go every summer and it's you know saw my dad and my family down there and um, I have some really fond memories of that place. And it'd be really cool if I could get some B-roll and drop that in while I'm telling the stories and stuff. So that'll give me something to work on later as well. Um, what else is going on? I don't really have, I mean, that's my big thing that I want to do this year is I just want to make sure that I continue to make videos and I record every day. That's my big thing. So sometimes it's going to be terrible. Sometimes Hopefully it'll be amazing, but we'll see. Work-wise, obviously I've got the, I, I do the Creatives with AI podcast. Um, I really would like to grow that into a, a network of podcasts about AI. And I really think that at the minute, no one's kind of taking that, cornering that space. So I have the idea to set up this with AI FM thing and, um, I want to start some podcasts about focused on women. I want to start one on marketing. I want to start one on legal. I want to start one on education. So all those things I'm really looking for. But what I'd like to do is to be able to turn that somehow into a business where, you know, I have enough money to be able to to pay myself to do that full time. And I have no idea how that will work, whether it will work or not. Um I know there's a lot of companies out there that do podcasts and podcast production and there's loads of other podcast networks and that sort of thing. So it's a well-worn path. I have a really good mentor who helps me with that. Um, Dan Kindle, who runs the Health Podcast Network. Shout out to Dan for helping me so far. He's been instrumental in me sort of getting as far as I've got. But I think if, you know... <laughs> realistically if if anyone's ever going to make any money if you're ever going to make any money doing podcasting you know if you're not a celebrity that has the backing of someone like the bbc or one of the big media platforms i think is nearly impossible um to actually make enough money to to really survive off of that and the chances are low plus i really think i'm pretty boring most of the time so i'm i don't i don't hold off any hope for that but where I do think there is some opportunity is bringing together other people who are experts in their field and getting some sponsors who work in those areas as well to sort of come on the journey with me and to get those experts and those experts to bring their networks to bear. I can help them with the production and with running everything in the background, 
getting the website up, doing some promotion, all that sort of stuff, building mailing lists and getting newsletters out and all the all the all the businessy bits that need to happen in the background and, and let the talent and, and those guys just crack on with it and, and have some amazing conversations with people. And I really do think that there's a there's an opportunity and there's a business in that. So that's what I'm going to focus on on the side while I'm still doing contract or I'm still doing full time work somewhere else. The podcasting bit at the minute, I've kind of got it to the point where I can now record a podcast takes maybe an hour and a half let's say that at the most i can go off i can get the transcripts do the basic editing do all that stuff i using ai i can have that stuff done in a a couple of hours now actually and it's like releasable so i think that's kind of got down where it it, it's not as much of a task as it used to be Uh, again part of this exercise of recording the video all year is to be able to do the video editing a lot quicker the video stuff that I do for the podcast is all recorded on Riverside. This is actually, I'm recording this just directly to QuickTime. So I'm just using the camera, pushing it straight to QuickTime. I'd like to get to the point where I can actually record it to SD card in the camera and get a little bit higher resolution and maybe a better quality in that and then be able to dump that into something like a Premiere Pro and to do the editing and everything I want to do from there. That'll be later in the year. I want to just get this basic workflow down where I can record it. I can do the rough edit. I can just take the video, do a little bit of modification to it if it needs it, and then just literally just dump the raw bit up on YouTube. And there's some videos there. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm getting back to this. Uh, so, yeah, that's the With AI Network, uh, With AI FM Network. Um, what else do I want to do? So... That then feeds into the AI Podcast Network. So I've got, I think, seven or eight shows on there at the minute. I'd like to recruit more shows. So I'd like to have maybe 20 or 30 by the end of the year and really start to grow that and really start to push that um, out. So that's one thing I'm going to focus on as well. Um, Another thing is I've got to really work on the website for Future Hand and Future Hand Media. I think Future Hand has been really good so far for me as a as a company and an opportunity to do you know sort of projects for different people like i'll talk about different projects um that we've done maybe i'll do a another recording specifically talking about the move um project that we did during covid which i think is really interesting and uh, and something cool to talk about but i really i really enjoy doing the media the podcasting the video, the audio, this sort of thing. I I love it. I think it's great fun. And I think at this stage in my life, it's also something that I'd like to do more of as I, I mean, I'm only 55 and these days that is truly middle age. I'll, I'll never retire. I'll never stop working. So, you know, I've got a good, unless something happens to me medically, I'm, I'll just continue on. I could see myself working at 75. So I've got a good run of it. And Having been in travel in my first career and then, that, you know, then moving into tech and working in technology and data and all the stuff that I've done over the last 20 years in the UK has been amazing. But I'm getting too old to work in tech. Um, it's a it's a young person's game. And unfortunately, I'm going to start really, I think I'm going to start experiencing trouble finding roles and, and positions and stuff like that. So I really need to pay attention to that and I just need to plan ahead. It's fine. I'm not bitter about it. It's, I know it's there. I've worked in the industry for a long time. I know how it is. So if I can get myself into a position where I'm doing more of the media work and that sort of thing, then, then maybe that might be better. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know, but at least if I'm doing my own thing and I'm helping other people and doing the production bit and I don't maybe necessarily have to be in front of the camera all the time. I don't know. Anyway, that's sort of my plan. So right or wrong, we'll see how it goes. We'll know by this time next year whether it's going to be a goer or not. And who knows? Like I could have a totally different opinion and be doing something totally different by then. So I don't really know. Um, what else? That's it. I have an idea to start another podcast, um, which is more like this. I don't know if what this, whatever this is is 
um, might turn into that. Um, where I, maybe I just do, you know, I just talk to the camera myself and, and do some solo bits. And then every once in a while I have some friends on and we turn it into some sort of a podcast or something like that or some sort of a vlog. I, I have no idea. But again, I have, you know, no aspirations over where this itself goes. But I do think I would like to have maybe a podcast where it's not so strictly focused on AI and I can sort of just talk to whoever I want and talk about whatever I want and bring in all sorts of topics because sometimes I think that I start to drift in the creatives with AI podcast and I need to be careful to stick to the topic and to remember who my audience is and my audience isn't necessarily going to want to talk to all the people that I want to talk to and learn about all the things that I want to learn about and all the things I want to talk about so I might start up the I, I want to call it fake smart because that's pretty much how I feel about myself. I know a little bit about everything, but I'm not an expert in anything. Um, and I'm really good because I have a good general knowledge. I'm very good at guessing. So I can sort of sound smarter than I really am. And um, so anyway, that may appear. It may not appear. I don't know if it does appear again. I'm not. It's something that I would do just for myself. It's not. I'm not out there to get tons and tons of listeners or to do anything it's more just to have interesting conversations and fun conversations with people so i don't know whether i'll do that on you know fake smart or if i'll do it on this or what we'll just sort of see how it develops but anyway where are we so we're 16 16 and a half minutes um anyway so that's the this is the inaugural vlog for the year and then hopefully I'm going to carry a selfie stick. I actually bought a um, a nice small rig selfie stick to carry around with me all the time. So hopefully I can either use that or I have a small handheld gimbal that I can carry around with me. And I will use that either at work or if I'm, a, if I'm out or whatever, I can use that to do a bit of vlogging. I have, I'm a Samsung um, mobile so I have the old Samsung. This is an S10 Plus. That's how old it is. I think the current model is an S23. So I am planning to get a new phone either when the S24 comes out. I think they're supposed to make a big announcement on the 17th of January about the, the new S24 model. So we'll see what that's like if, I don't know, I'm, I'm still torn between Apple and Samsung for the next one. The advantage to Apple is, is that because I'm an Apple I have like MacBook Pro and that sort of thing. So I think for potentially for doing the podcast and having a second camera, an iPhone might be really good because it can go wireless and it can just literally connect directly to the computer and it can just run. Whereas trying to attach a Samsung camera and stuff is a little bit more awkward. So I may play around with that. I may try and borrow one from someone or maybe buy a maybe buy a used one or something, a, a 15 Pro, just to see what it's like. But anyway, we'll see what happens there. But um, cool. Well, that's it for today. And um, we'll see you tomorrow.